Hey YouTube, Dr. Over here. Today I'm going to show you how to diagnose and repair a bad tie rod on. Okay, the diagnosis part is pretty easy. You just want to go ahead and jack your car or truck or whatever it is that you have. Have the wheels straight ahead. Just go ahead and grab it on both sides and give it a wiggle. You should have some pretty fair amount of resistance there. Not this easy movement, easy play here. Uh, this thing just kind of rocks back and forth. You can hear some noise. So go ahead and have a look under there at that outer tie rod end. You'll see it located right here. You have your outer tie rod end, right out here close to the wheel, and then your inner tie rod end. And you'll be able to see pretty easily, looking under there, where all that play is. So we're going to go ahead and pop this wheel off. I'll show you how to change that. Super simple. First step, YouTube, is going to be to go ahead, before we, before we even unhook the tie rod here, just go ahead and bust this jam nut loose. Just crack it loose. It's going to take this ordinary wrench, stick it in on that jam nut. Now, these things can be pretty tight sometimes. That one wasn't too bad. Let's give it a whack. Go ahead and crack it loose. Next thing you want to do, YouTube, is just go ahead and take the nut off the bottom of the tie rod on here. Sometimes these will have a cotter pin in them, sometimes they're a lock nut. These ones on these Dodge trucks come off pretty hard. We're going to use an impact. We're going to go ahead and just zip that off there. Okay, YouTube. Next, we have to take the tie rod end and get it up on the steering knuckle. A couple ways you can do this. You can use an air hammer, rattle right against the steering knuckle, it'll pop loose. You can use what they call a pickle fork, uh, particularly if your tie rod end is junk like this, because this usually destroys the boots on them. You can stick your pickle fork in there, you can beat it in, or in this case, we're just going to hit up on the bottom of the stud because it's junk. That cracks loose. Show you what to do next before we change the tie rod end. Okay, since we're changing the tie rod end, and, and you're likely doing this yourself at home, when you get this done, it's going to change the alignment on the vehicle. It's going to change what we call the toe end, how the toes or how the tires sit in a straightforward position. So, long story short, you're going to take it from your house. You're going to have to drive it to a shop to get a wheel alignment done. In order to make it close, or as close as it was, or you know, not enough to get it to the garage, assuming it's only a few miles away. Let's just go ahead, now we've got everything you know, loosened up and stuff. Before we tear it apart and put the new tire on, we're gonna take a couple quick measurements. Um, we're gonna take it, just use a paint marker or a Sharpie. Just make a mark on your rotor so you know where it is in reference uh, to like the brake caliper, okay? And then we're gonna take and, uh, you know, we can, uh, let's see, yeah, we'll, we'll measure right off the rotor. Just make, your, just make yourself a mark, starting point where to measure to and from. We're going to find a solid spot up here in the frame, kind of make us a white dot. Then we're going to take our tape measure, that's just so we can accurately put it back where it was. Uh, take our tape measure, and take a measurement there. Got about 17 and a 16th on this one. Going to write it down. Pretty easy to do. So what we'll do, obviously you don't want to turn the steering wheel at this point or turn, turn the other wheel. You want to make sure everything's already free, freed up. You know, you're not going to have to screw around yanking and pulling on the uh, on the rack here to change this. We're just going to take our tie rod in. And the other thing you can do too is, is count these, the number it turns out. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So we've got about 21 turns on it. Okay? We put our new one on, about the same amount of turns, you're going to find that our, uh, our spec here is going to come back a lot quicker. So I'm going to take and grab this with a pair of vice grips, stick an impact on this inner jam nut. We're going to spin that off, lube up our threads, and get our new one. Okay, so I took and got the jam nut off the uh, inner tie rod here, just to make this a little bit easier for the alignment guy, which is myself. I'm going to take and throw a little never seize on that guy. Oops, got that. I'm going to throw the, uh, throw the jam nut back on there. Take and uh, spin that back on there. Alright, now that we've got that on, I'm going to throw a little, I've never seen here in, my, in our tie rod on. This is New York, everything rots out. And we're just going to take and just spin this back on about, about 21 turns, basically like we took the old one off. So we'll do that.
There's about 21 turns. I'm not going to tighten the jam nut up. We're just going to stick this down in our spindle here. Take the castle nut they give you. And just spin that on. Kind of push down on it by hand. And I'm cautious now. We want to get our measurement about back where we had it, so don't uh, don't go reefing on this quite yet. Just just not to hold it down in the spindle. Okay. So we've got that down in the spindle. I guess it's fair to mention too. Uh, your tie rod end usually comes with a grease fitting. If you get anything of any quality, uh, I've started that in there by hand. So just go ahead and you know just tighten on your grease fitting. You don't have to kill those. Now, what we want to do, we've got our brake rotor right where we had it, had it before. Uh, we can tell that nothing moved there, so we're going to stick our tape measure back exactly where we had it. Find your mark on the inside of the frame. Right here, we can see we're just a tad on the long side. We're about 17, well, no, we're about 17 and a 16th. So actually, just by uh, spinning that off, puts us right back where we were. If we weren't, what you would do, hold your tape measure and you would turn your inner tie rod here. And that's gonna change, it's gonna change its distance. Um, but you can see we got ours close enough to take in, uh, you know, if we we're gonna take it somewhere and get it, get it lined up, definitely close enough to drive it there. So we wanna take and tighten down your jam nut. Get my wrench. Tighten it down again, for the sake of the guy doing alignment. You don't have to kill those things. Just snug it up. We want to finish tightening our castle nut. I'm going to take that. Go ahead and snug that up. Once you get it snug, we got to line the holes in it. Should be a hole in here for a cotter pin. And we're just about covering that hole, so we're just going to go a little bit tighter. i go just a little bit more to get to it. Okay, now that we've got that exposed. Okay. I found a cotter pin there. It got knocked off on the floor. Pretty simple. Just put your cotter pin through. Use a pair of pliers or side cutters or whatever you got. Just go ahead and spread open the cotter pin. We usually just flick it up on the bottom of the tie rod here. And just cut off the excess. Simple as that. We're going to give her a little dash of grease here. Throw the tire back on. Put on the alignment machine. Reset the toe. And uh, send it on its way.